This video shows how to use particle image velocimetry and coherent structure detection to detect secondary flow or vortical structures in a curved artery model to better understand the clinical relevance of type 4 stent failures. This method can help answer key questions in cardiovascular hemodynamics, such as how stents, which can deteriorate over time and ultimately fracture, can influence blood flow patterns and affect disease progression and vascular remodeling. The main advantage of this technique is that it facilitates investigation of in vivo and in vitro measurements in complex physiological arterial flows involving stent and stent fractures. Demonstrating the procedure will be Mohammed Reza Najari, a graduate student, and Jessica Hinke, an undergraduate student. Prepare a blood analog solution comprised of 79% saturated sodium iodide solution, 20% glycerol, and 1% deionized water. Start with saturated sodium iodide solution. Then, add the glycerol in small increments using a syringe until the entire volume of glycerol has been added. Between additions, wait for the solution to become visibly homogenized and take note of the volume of each glycerol addition. Next, add the required volume of water. Continue stirring until the blood analog solution is visibly homogenized. Finally, add very small quantities of sodium thiosulfate using a spatula until the solution is optically clear.